guys, welcome to another episode of Mr. Tingle Talks. In this episode, we're going to break down uh, and look at more of the mineral components of soil. I uh, talk about what they are, why they're important, and then do a little bit of experimenting uh, to show uh, what impact they have on the quality of your soil. So, very first thing is what are the three particles of mineral soil? Uh, again, the mineral soil is to back up. Uh, that's all the structure in a chunk of soil itself. So, the three particles are sand, silt, and clay and what's really important to know right off the bat is the difference in size sand is the largest and for our metaphor today think of it kind of like a basketball so it's very large it's gritty and it's not uh, it's really hard to miss the next part is silt silt's in the middle it's a little bit smaller than sand uh, it's smooth when you feel it in your fingers and for our reference it's going to be about the size of a tennis ball and then the third particle is clay it's the teeniest of the tiniest and for our metaphor we're going to look at it as like a little pebble so three parts are sand silt and clay sand's the largest silt's in the middle and clay is the smallest all right next are why are those three things important those three components are really important because they affect two things the first one is porosity and the second one is water holding capacity so porosity all that is is just the different holes and gaps and pores within the soil itself why it's important as you can see all these chunks of root and this little worm down here if there's if the soil doesn't have a lot of porosity if it doesn't have a high rate of it that's really compacted and those roots can't get down through there and those little organisms can't move around so you want high porosity the second thing is water holding capacity and that's just what it sounds like that's how much water the soil can hold now this is kind of like the goldilocks effect too much water holding capacity and that soil is going to be saturated it's going to be like a swamp and your plants are going to drown and die too little and all the water is going to fall out and your plants are going to wither up and die as well because they ran out of water so uh, water holding capacity is really important and you want it right there somewhere in the middle of the sweet spot with not too much and not too little so back to those three parts a little bit more about them again sand is the largest and how it affects soil is it adds a lot of poris or porosity porosity uh, but lowers the water holding capacity so if this soil is really sandy uh, it's got a lot of pore space which is good but water flows right through it which is bad uh, next is silt. Silt again is right there in the middle. Uh, it doesn't help with porosity so much, but does help with water holding capacity. And the way those uh, uh, molecules and things stick together, it holds water a little better. So, so silt's pretty good, and a good mixture of sand and silt is really good. And that last one is clay. If you have 100% clay, it is really bad uh, because it has a very low porosity rate and a very high water holding capacity. And actually, they those little cells, those little cells, those little molecules of clay compact so closely together that water can't get in it and air can't get in it and you just have like this big brick of soil and it's really bad because nothing can live in it and it ties up a lot of the water and the plants can't use it so uh, that's why how all those three things affect it and in the end game what you're really looking for is what is called a loam l-o-a-m a loam and that's a good mixture of sand silt and clay you need all three of it to have a good soil and any of the one alone is really bad so something to consider all right, next is this little experiment to kind of show you the differences and, and how they affect water holding capacity and porosity. To set this experiment up, all you really need are a few basic things. You need some soil samples of sand, silt, and clay. You need a filter, a funnel, a beaker, and some water. And now what you'll do is, is you'll set this up, you'll put the, the, the filter in the funnel, the funnel in the beaker, and then you're going to add some soil in each one. So you'll have a beaker that's full of sand, a beaker that's full of silt, and a beaker full of clay. And then lastly, we have a test down there that's actually potting soil, but that's kind of like a loam. So that's how you'll set it up. All right, to actually conduct the experiment, when you're ready, you'll start a stopwatch, as you'll see down here in the corner, I have my cell phone. And you'll go down and you're gonna pour water in it and you're gonna time and watch and observe how the water flows through and percolates through those different soils. Once you see me start it there, I start with the potting soil and immediately that water rushes through. Next, I pour the water into the clay and you can see how it tightens up and it's kinda of hard for that water to get through. It's a few slow little drips. Next to the silt, the water travels through a little bit quicker than the, the clay, but not a lot. And then lastly is the sand and the water, uh, for the most part, just kind of floods through and goes pretty quickly. 
Now, if you watch that experiment, I let it run for about five minutes, and in the end, the potting soil, I was actually able to fill it up with water twice, so it had great porosity, uh, and once the soil was saturated, pretty good water holding capacity. The clay took forever to let the water drain. The silt took forever to let the water drain. Some of that might be because there was a little bit of clog in the filter, but that's okay. And then lastly, that sand, uh, out of the three of the, the three main ingredients, it let water go through the quickest. So, uh, moral of the story, the three particles of soil are sand, silt, and clay. Sand is the largest, then silt, then clay. They're really important because they affect uh, porosity and uh, water holding capacity. And if you look at them, water or sand lets water go through the quickest, silt kind of slows it down some, and clay is just like a brick that doesn't really let anything in. So those are the three particles, that's why they're important. I hope you enjoy this video. Take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.